bobzine.com. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. This time we've got a bottle of India Pale Weizen. Brewdog versus Weinstefen. It is brewed by Brewdog in collaboration with the oldest brewer in the world, Weinstefen, in Germany. It is a 6.2% ABV. Hopped up um, Hefeweizen. Hopped with um, Centennial and Simcoe. Predictably, Brewdog, Simcoe. Come on. <laughs> always Simcoe. So, let's get this into the glass. See what we've got. I'm not sure if it's bottle condition, but you know me, I'm not a mad fan of um, getting a load of sediment in there. Pouring relatively still. I expected a bit more life to it than that. So a peak. If there is, there's not much. There we go. No, I don't think it is. It's part of Brewdog's thing of like process, I don't think they can bottle condition beers. Even this, as you'd expect, a very kind of like very hazy, very murky looking pale yellow beer, perfect pure white froth on top. So let's check out the aroma. Yep. That's really that's lovely. That's fantastic actually. You're getting all those three notes. Big banana cream. A friend of mine always said, um, um, peaches and cream, and it really does smell of that. You're getting those notes specifically from the, that Hefeweizen yeast strain. Those hops are humongous in it though, and work really nicely with it. Simcoe is bringing out the kind of more kind of fruity side of Simcoe, and for me that's often a, like a synthetic strawberry and maybe a bit of a um, maybe a bit of kind of raspberry, without a doubt. Then. It's beautifully counterbalanced with a good whack of um, centennial, bringing you that more reassuring, familiar uh, hop profile of kind of grapefruit. You know, that real kind of like T90 kind of hot pellet aroma, which is a slightly burnt orange kind of like uh, marmalade on burnt toast. It's got a lovely freshness to it. But yeah, and then back to that creaminess. It smells great, so let's dive in. Can't wait to try it. Cheers. Oh, oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Just before you could take a, uh, a swig of it, I, I mean, I, I got a real impression of a slight funkiness that you get from like fresh Pachanomyces. That obviously isn't in there, but there's a certain characteristic of that kind of bubble gum, I think, where it's coming, coming through, slightly very floral, getting a whack of kind of Pilsner malt there. About to flavour. Big grapefruit. Nice kind of fresh pine. Which is counterbalanced beautifully with kind of there's a freshly baked bread thing going on in there, white bread. Yes, without a doubt, peaches and cream. The back end, it is quite a, it's quite a sharp bitterness. I'd say uh, grapefruit, lemon juice. And a bit of that, um, it's kind of this weird, funky, fruity ripeness, maybe like blue cheese that you're getting from where that Simcoe, that kind of slightly ammonia note of Simcoe is hitting the um, the kind of slightly clove-like, under-ripened banana note of the Hefeweizen yeast. That's really nice, nicely done that. It is meant to be a kind of a blend between Hefeweizen and IPA and I think they've reached that really nicely. One of the better collabs I've had from Brewdog. Nice stuff. So that is. Ooh, and the label feels great. Look at that. Anyway, I'm getting confused. Get all, getting all sidetracked by a lovely looking label. So that is a bottle of Brewdog's collaboration with Weinstefen from Germany. Indy Pale Weizen, Brewdog versus Weinstefen. 6.2% ABV. Lovely stuff. Drink it fresh. Sadly, it's middle of the winter. Because this is perfect summer supping. Anyway, I'm Rob from Hopsy.com. See you next time. Cheers.